you know. All right, everyone, we'll go ahead and get started with Davey. Raise your hand to do and then we'll call on you. Jesse Doherty, Washington Post. Hey, David, do you have a starter for Sunday? Yes, we do. Fetty will start the game. How'd you make that decision? Um, just by uh, talking to Hickey, and he's you know he's ready to go. So um, we want to get him out there. I mean, he looks he looks good and um, built him up a little bit. So uh, feel like he'd be the guy. Do you have to be like a bit more, like what's the sort of puzzle like this year with like a fewer opportunities to get starters in games with less split squads and whatnot? Like do you have to be, be a bit more like inserted in how you figure that out? Or well, you you know you you have uh, Scherzer who is dealing with the ankle. You know we're building him up. Mm -hmm. You have Ross who you know missed last year, so we're trying to build him up. And you have Strauss who are uh, just coming off an injury and we're trying to build him up as well. So, um, you know, we got our young guys that are, that are ready to go and healthy and fatty and you'll see both here soon. And uh, so, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get those guys out there followed by, you know, a lot, a lot of other young guys. So um, but we want to get, we want to make sure that these guys, uh, Strauss and those guys are built up and ready, ready to go. And an obvious follow-up, do you have an opening day starter? <laughs> Uh, that, that, we'll keep that in the circle right now. <laughs> hey, Mark Dunn, NBC4. Hey, Davey. Um, we had just talked to Gerardo, and, and obviously seeing his smile is is infectious, you know, for us, for you, I'm sure everybody. Um, you know, he mentioned he's obviously coming off some surgery. I guess, what are your, your hopes for him? I, yeah, I assume making the team, but, um, you know, this year, and just even looking back and, what he brought to this city and, you know, what you're hoping maybe he can bring to the team this season if, if he makes the roster. Yeah. You know, he's a, he's a veteran guy, man. He's still, we still believe that he could, he can play and help us win games. So um, we're trying to get him healthy right now. He's about 75%. And uh, as soon as we get him on the field and get him some games, you know, we're, we're going to give him every opportunity to play. You know, he, he's, he's was such a, an influence in our roster in 2019. Um, but with that being said, you know, the reason why he's here is because we feel like, you know, his veteran presence, uh, the way he, the way he goes about his business, you know, he's always pleasant to be around, but also he, he could still play. Um, he could help us out in the outfield, play some first base, he could pinch hit. So um, hopefully, you know, we get him ready as soon as possible and we get him in some games. When he came back, you know, he, he saw the guys at spring training. He saw you. I mean, did it seem like he was picking right back where he left off? Were there, you know, I said, smiles. What did you see from the guys seeing him back in camp? Yeah, they were, everybody was excited, you know. Obviously, you know, he, he's a big hugger, so he gave everybody a hug. Um, but he's good. To, it's good to see him here, and, and he's excited to be back. And, um, you know, like I said, he, he keeps everybody loose. You know, one of his favorite sayings to everybody is he always goes around and says, hey, how you doing? And everybody gets a kick out of that. The other day, he was, he was actually hitting, uh, live, taking live batting practice. The pitcher's on the mound, and he gets, does his all routine and get ready. And he steps out and looks at the pitcher and says, hey, how you doing? And gets back in the, gets back in the hit. So um, he keeps everything loose, which is, and, and makes it fun for everybody. Kelsey James, Washington Post. Hey, Davey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. good you. Um, yeah, you too, you too. Um, did you guys, like a quick question, did you guys get the tracker things for the contact tracing yet? And have you gotten any information about how guys will be wearing those and using those? We have them. Um, um, they're, they're working on uh, distributing them now to everybody and how, how it's gonna work and how it's gonna function. So I'm assuming that within the next few days, um, we'll, we'll start, uh, wearing them they'll tell us how to wear them and um, and we'll go from there but yeah I mean I know they're here they just, they've been working with the with uh, connects on on uh, on how to wear them when to wear them and and so forth and so on so uh, I'm assuming that we'll get them here uh, really quick cool thank you Pete Kersel, massinsports.com hey Davey how you doing good how are you Real good, real good. Um, what's your plan for Fetty on Sunday? Couple innings, thirty pitches. Yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll keep his pitch count probably to around uh, thirty max. 
um, just let them go out there. You know, I, all the spring training, especially in the beginning, uh, we want to focus on throwing strike one. Um, that's 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 our focus with our guys, especially our young guys. So we'll let them go out there, and um, we won't we won't let them go over thirty pitches. Thank you. Jess Camaretto, MLB.com. Hey, Davey, with, uh, with the catcher position, if it's not going to be a split down the middle as it used to be with Jan and Kurt, how do you balance in spring training, ramping Jan up to where he needs to be, but getting Avila still acclimated the way that he needs? Yeah, you know, like during, spring, yeah during spring training, we'll, uh, you know, we'll get them both out there. You know, um, early on in spring, you know, we can DH one of them and uh, while the other one catches and vice versa. So uh, we'll make sure we'll get the bats in. We'll make sure that we'll get them behind the plate. Um, I want Avila to get really familiar with all our guys, so he'll he'll catch our, uh, our some of our uh, pitchers, the ones that he hasn't caught before, quite a bit, just to get him used to them. And uh, and some of the guys he's already caught, like a like a Corbin and a and a, and a Max, so um, and a Lester. So we'll uh, we'll get him out as much as possible. You know, Jan no, knows all these guys. He likes to catch the bullpen guys, you know, quite a bit, you know, and get familiar with those guys. Uh, but he's had hand before, so um, you know it's it's nice. Like I said before, you're having these veteran guys that's that's been around, that's caught some of these guys that understand uh, what our pitchers are trying to do. So, uh, but we'll get them both out there. You know, you, you, we just got to be careful with both of them. You know, that you're both going to play. Uh, we just want to get them ready for the season. We talked to Brad Hand this morning, um, like one and a half weeks in. What are your impressions of him so far? Uh, very quiet, but, you know, uh, works hard, you know, um, wants to just help the team win. I mean, he's a team guy, you know, he, he says he'll do whatever, you know, and, and uh, but, you know, we know, we know what he can do. You know, he's a back end of the bullpen guy um, in a perfect world, you know, he'll be our closer. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go from there, but, you know, he's all, he's all in so far. Uh, it's been good. Um, I, I love talking to him, uh, bright, bright guy. Um, and he fits in well with, with our group. When you said perfect world, he'd be uh, he'd be your closer. Guys have talked about just how calm and cool he is, just makeup wise. What do you see about his demeanor that fits him so well for that? Yeah, he's just like uh, like I said, he's just you never see him. He's got no emotion. You know, he's, he, he is who he is. And um, we got another guy like that, a couple of guys like that. Juan Huddy, uh, the other one being Will Harris. You know, they're very calm guys. So I kind of like that, you know. Uh, so, you know, those guys. They know what their role is. Um, yeah, they're going to pitch the back end of the bullpen. You know, a lot of times, you know, these guys pitch two or three days in a row. Um, you got to you got to kind of give them a day to keep them fresh. So those those other guys, they, they understand that they need to step up. You know, on occasion, they'll get a chance to close some games as well. So um, we'll keep an eye on all those you know all those guys, the guys, the high leverage guys. You know, Rainey's another guy that I like to see. You know, pitch. Uh, at the end of the games too. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how they do. Thank you. Jesse Dafferty, Washington Post. Hey, Davey, on the topic of stretching guys out, um, you get Jeffrey Rodriguez back. I know he was a starter for you guys in 18, um, but you had mentioned at the time, maybe he could look good in the bullpen. So what are you guys doing with him right now? Yeah, right now we talked to him about just uh, pitching out of the bullpen. Um, I feel like, you know, He'd fit in our bullpen. Could be a you know five five out uh, to any guy, um, but we you know we definitely love his stuff uh, for sure, and I think he, it plays well in the bullpen. Thank you, Matt Weir, it's NBC. Hey, Davey. Two guys that we haven't really talked a ton about yet this season are Andrew Stevenson and, and Josh Harrison. What kind of roles do you see for them this year? Do you see those two playing on a consistent basis? Uh, mixing in for guys to, to give them days off. How often do you think they'll be playing? Yeah, you know, for me, those guys know their role. I mean, they're, they're, they're going to come off the bench and help us in any way possible. You know, Josh being a guy that plays multiple positions, we can hit anywhere in the lineup. Um, you know what you're going to get from him. And Stevenson, who could play all three outfield position, did a really good job for us pinch hitting. Um, and actually did, did a good job for us last year when he got a chance to play every day. So, you know, we're going to – we'll fit him in, at, as you guys know, um, I like playing everybody, you know, and they're, they all, they understand that. They know that they're going to get a chance to play. So um, with that being said, you know, if you take a look at our outfield, you got Schwarber, um, Victor, 
and and Soto out there. So those guys are going to get going to get the bulk of the at bats. Uh, these other guys, they, they understand that they they need to be ready whenever they get called upon and and step in and do do what's necessary. Do you see anybody outside of the the top three contenders for the fifth spot, Ross, Fetty, and Voth, uh, as being legitimate contenders? You know, Armenteros or uh, Seth Romero, anybody like that? Do you think that they could crack the opening day roster uh, as a pitcher in the rotation? Yeah, you know, it's 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 so early in camp, and you know, like these guys are throwing their their first live EPs. Um, we're just going to take a look. I mean, I like I've seen some really good good things already. I'm just going to let it play out and see what happens. Um, you know, and those things will, for me, will take care of themselves towards the end. So I want to see all these guys pitch, um, you know, Seth, uh, one of them, I'm Terrace, another one, you know, uh, along with Joe, uh, Fetty and both. I mean, but you know, we got, a, we got a few guys that um, look good right now, but we'll, we'll see as we start playing games, see which guys, which guys uh, really pop here at the end. Maria Torres, The Athletic. What are some of those good things that you've already seen? Uh, for the most part, I'm watching our young pitchers and how they're striking, the, uh, attacking the strike zone early. I mean, that's they've been very impressive uh, throwing around the play. When you can go through three live BPs, and I hope I don't jinx this, um, and nobody get hit, uh, you know, that's a good sign. So these guys are these guys are throwing the ball around the plate at the secondary pitchers. Uh, look good. So, uh, you know, I'm really excited about watching these guys go out there and competing against other teams. Um, Han said earlier that he can't really tell like what his velo is right now when he doesn't usually get up to close to his velo in live BPs. What are you seeing? And are you encouraged I mean, the ball, by the, yeah, the ball's coming out? You know what I like? He's got, he's got deception, you know, um, he's got a very short arm, quick arm um, and the ball, you know, and I talked to the hitters, man, you know, when, so once he gets ready, let's go to the ball. The ball is on you really, pretty, really quick. So, um, I, you know, I, I get all this information on velo. It's for me, it's not that important right now because, you know, like I said, these guys are getting ramped up and getting built up. Um, but the ball is coming out, you know, out of his arm pretty good. Spin rate's been, it's been good so far. So, you know, we we look at all that stuff. If he wants it, you know, we have it. But you know, it's good for for us to know myself. Uh, but he knows what he needs to do. So, um, like I said, we're just gonna get them wrapped up here and get them, get them ready for the season. Thank you. Jesse Doherty. That was a really dangerous jinx about live BPs. That maybe that was, that was, that was nerve wracking. <laughs> I, I, always get, I always get nervous, but I get nervous. <laughs> that, that, that's not my question. I, um, we talked to Victor just now. He talked about slimming down. You've obviously talked about um, wanting him to be, you know, just at, at, a, at a lighter weight. Um, what's it? What's the balance for him of being that speed guy that we know, but also like he he has flashed some power in the past. So like, I don't know, how do you balance like wanting to be strong but also wanting to be fast? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, as you know, you know, he does have power. You know, he for me, you, you don't have to be this big guy to have power. You know, um, yeah. And you know, he you know he came back this year. He's slimmer, but he's hitting the ball really well. Yeah, what I like is that. He, he looks agile. You know, I'm watching him run around in the outfield, going to get balls. His first step uh, is a lot better now than it was last year. Uh, and he's moving around a little better. So, um, you know, I think, you know, I've, I've said this before, there's so much upside in, in Victor and what he can do. So, you know, hopefully he feels better, you know, about himself this spring. He looks, he looks real, like I said, he looks really good. And, uh, you know, he's another guy that, you know, he comes in, he's got this big smile on his face all the time. Uh, he's got a lot of energy. So, I mean, that's the kind of guy that I was used to when I first met him and that's what I want him to be. And, and like I said, you know, we're going to get him as many at bats as possible. He revamped his swing. And uh, we talk a lot about just, you know, him going gap to gap and, and, and using his speed. Did you, did you think he lost some of that sort of fun smiling last year? Um, I know it was a weird year for everyone too. It was, yeah, it was definitely a weird year for everyone. At the end, you know, he, he, didn't, he didn't hit like he wanted to hit. So I, I think for him, you know, he was a little disappointed, but, you know, he's, I told him, hey, you're young, you're learning, you know, let's use, use this as a learning curve and move forward. You know, I think, and I told him all winter, I think 2021 is going to be a big year for you, you know, so come to spring training ready, you know, and like I said, slim down a little bit and, and let's get you back on your feet where, where you know you're really good and we'll go from there. And then David, last one for me, are, are all your position players um, like at a, I don't want to say hundred percent, but 
are they all fully participating or has anybody been slowed down by anything? No, they're all, they're, they're all good. Um, you know, uh, like I said, we're, uh, spring training has been really, really good. I mean, we got a lot of work and a lot of individual work. And so far, tomorrow is actually the first day that we will do some um, team fundamental drills uh, and bring them all together. But um, you know, the feedback so far, you know, has been, they've been awesome because they've been getting tons of swings, uh, tons of ground balls, turning double plays, uh, working on some of the little, little things um, that we want to, we want to work on this spring. And uh, it's been going well. Thank you. Maria Torres. That just reminded me that you said earlier um, that you really, you really drove that point home during the offseason, just having everybody come to camp and be ready to actually work um, and not try to get back in shape. Um, have you seen that then? Have, has, have, has everybody met like that expectation? Yeah, everybody's, everybody has participated. Everybody looks good. Um, we're getting a lot of stuff done. They have, you know, um, we're doing these drills and they're all, uh, a perfect example, you know, we, we, every day we run the bases every day and we haven't had one guy complain about anything. So that's awesome. You know, it's a tough task, um, but they're going through it. They're going through it with a lot of energy. They're putting, putting some in it. So, I mean, I'm proud of these guys of, of how they've come out thus far. So um, we just want to keep it going. Is that different from previous seasons? Well, there's a lot of times where guys come in and they, 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 they want to come in and they're trying to get in shape during – uh, during spring training, and I want to try and avoid that because when that happens, then you're working really hard to get them in shape. You're not working on, on honing in on, on their baseball skills per se. 